If I wasn't in jail, I was pregnant. <laughs> and I'm homeless right now. And as you see, I have a black eye again. <laughs> and I just fall down and drunk. I keep on finding the wrong social path and stuff. And when I was 20, probably left, you know, went home, went to Texas. I know. Had a baby there in Galveston, Texas. Uh, and bad luck to have uh, my husband went to the penitentiary in Texas, so I stayed and tried to, you know, work things through. Got part-time jobs and stuff while I was pregnant with her and everything. Stayed in there until he got out of penitentiary, and then he, he decided to beat my ass the first day he was out. So I had the police call him, and you know, I, just, I had it all my own after that. You know, I, you know, I should have made better decisions and stuff. Uh, my father died, so I really don't have any stable. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, support system. You know, and I said my my uh, children don't really have a lot of trust with me. So I'm trying to rebuild that. The problems that I broke was that I was supposed to be the person that I was supposed to be for my children when they were young, and I'm trying to. Do it now, so I have a chance with my grandchildren. They're all in real good kids. I'm so proud of them. They didn't make the choice I did. I just would like to be a part of their life. My promise is that I would like to have a relationship and stuff with my adult children since I missed their childhood and be a part of my grandchildren's life now. Um, to get my housing straight and try to be a responsible adult, even though I haven't been really good at doing that. Um, really trying, a lot of prayers involved. I'm um, gonna keep up with not drinking and try to just, you know, feel like I have something that I promise that, that, that I can do these things.